Google, you have some explaining to do. <laughs> like, what were you thinking putting out an article that claims to have proven the multiverse now? You've been in my comment section before, so I know you're out there. And I just want to say, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Google announced their new quantum chip Willow and its real and very cool scientific advancements were completely overshadowed by just a few lines. This mind-boggling number exceeds known timescales in physics and vastly exceeds the age of the universe. It lends credence to the notion that quantum computation occurs in many parallel universes in line with the idea that we live in a multiverse, a prediction first made by David Deutsch. Factually incorrect, but anyway. To explain why this is very wrong, we first do have to have a quick chat about what they actually did. Now, there are three main takeaways, and if it sounds a bit technical, just bear with me because it will make sense in the end. Starting with quantum error correction. Willow demonstrated exponential error reduction. Simply put, this just means that larger grids had smaller errors, and this is a step towards being able to scale things and have them be reliable. Secondly, improved qubit quality. So Willow's qubits last longer. This just shows progress in things like fabrication and system integration. These are good things. Now, the third thing, which was the performance in random circuit sampling, RCS. Now, RCS is a benchmark. This just means that it's a test that human programmers write in order to test the performance of the chip. It's a problem that's so complicated that it needs a lot of computing power but it's not a real world problem that we haven't solved. Now, some people have been led to believe that the RCS test was a math problem that we and our computers can't actually solve and that it solved it because of those lines about the multiverse. People have kind of jumped to the conclusion that what it all means is that Willow proved the existence of the multiverse. This is not what happened. RCS is just a benchmark test, and it has absolutely nothing in any way, shape, or form to do with multiverse theory. The only thing that these two sentences tell us is that the writer of the article, Hartmut Nevin, who is the founder of, and the leader of Google's Quantum AI Lab, it tells us that he personally subscribes to the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. But what does this actually mean? In quantum mechanics, there is one very specific unanswered question. What happens at the moment of measurement? Now, the answer to this, complicated and frankly, a bit philosophical. And so there are different ideas as to what this answer could be. Now, to be very clear, quantum mechanics works the same mathematically no matter what the answer to this question is. It changes nothing about how we use quantum mechanics. And the reason that this is such an open question is because we have absolutely no way to test or verify the answer. Not that we don't technologically have a way yet, it's just that there is no way to devise a test that would be able to give us the answer. Now, there are many different answers. We call them interpretations. The most common is wave function collapse, and this is the Copenhagen interpretation and the one that most of us are familiar with. The second most common, then, is the many worlds interpretation, the multiverse. This interpretation was first presented in 1957 by Hugh Everett III, not David Deutsch. Now, in the 90s, Deutsch did connect it to quantum computing, but he did not predict the existence of a multiverse. That's just incorrect. What Hartmut is claiming here is that the only way the quantum chip is calculating this RCS benchmark faster than the age of the universe is because these states are being evaluated across many branches of the multiverse. So if a classical computer would take longer than the lifetime of the universe to complete the computation, but a quantum computer does it in minutes, the implication, if you believe the multiverse is real, is that the computation is leveraging resources from many universes. But this is not according to quantum mechanics. This is entirely speculative. It's just an idea based completely on how you interpret the result of a measurement in quantum mechanics. Quantum computation operates within quantum mechanics. It does not require and absolutely cannot prove many worlds interpretation. The success of the chip can alternatively be understood as it's leveraging quantum superposition and interference in just our universe. Now, Google's Willow chip represents real progress in quantum computing, particularly in error correction and benchmarking. Claims about multiverses and exaggerated comparisons to classical computers reflect speculative interpretations rather than established science. 
the announcement here it's just best viewed as an important step forward in quantum research, but with practical applications still very much on the horizon. Personally, it's a sad, sad day when we as science communicators have to fight the Google machine itself against misinformation about its own research. But at the end of the day, this article was written by the leader of the group, of the company, that did the research, that is putting out the work that it wants you to buy into. So it's going to be hyped up a little bit. It's not going to be very objective. Think critically, ask questions, stay nerdy. Thanks for watching. When you see an article or a video or just some piece of information about science and you're not sure whether you can trust it or not, let me know and I'll look into it.